Welcome back to another episode of my Minecraft Hardcore series. I'm gonna continue off working. Oh, okay, yeah, let's wait for that. Okay, I'm gonna continue working on my zombie XP spawner here. Need some more wood though, so I'll go ahead and take down this tree here. Nice thing about the jungle, there's wood absolutely everywhere. Annoying sheep. Oh, what's that? Oh, okay. <laughs> Just a skeleton. Another ocelot wandering around in the desert. So, I, yeah, I definitely need to get some more fish soon. So, I'm back to working on clearing this out. Should be a pretty easy project here. I've made quite a few zombie spawners at this point, so. Getting pretty good at process. Yeah, I'm thinking that the two zon the two spawners not gonna be close enough to each other, so won't be able to do a double spawner, but not really sure it's worth it to make them both into XP farms or not just do one. I'll probably end up doing both of them just to do both of them. So sand is going to be probably going to be a problem. It's all going to be falling down. The falling blocks in Minecraft are the most annoying blocks besides obsidian. Go. So it should, shouldn't be too hard to build this, since it's... I've never built a surface spawner XP farm before, so... Let's just go ahead and close this all up. Go. I'm gonna need to probably do some caving soon, try to find some slimes. Slimes are definitely gonna be something important for pistons. Ugh, can't reach. So I'll have to find some of those or use the online slime finder. One or the other. Obviously I'd prefer to find it legit, but if I can't find one I'll just use the online slime finder. Since it's just slimes. Okay, I'll go ahead and Take out this sand here just before it falls. Going to need to oops. Get a way out. There we go. So it looks like this is going to be the wall here. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty ugly for now. At some point I will go ahead and make it look much better once I get more established and everything. Let's go ahead and light this up a little bit better just to make sure I don't have any spawns. So go ahead. Ooh. Okay. thought this was a cave. It's just a little... Okay. Let's see. So the roof needs to be that height. Actually, yeah, we can probably do this. There we go. So I think this is good, so I'll go ahead and pillar up. Let's see what the coordinates are. Negative 96 and negative 105. Negative 96, negative 105. Whoops. Let's see, 96 is there, 105, so that would be this block, I think. Ooh, yep, okay, there we go. 
that. As you can probably could have tell, tell, I'm using Optifine just for the zoom feature. And it gets a little more FPS, so it's always nice. Okay, so let's see. Now where is that? There we go. Yeah, definitely. Okay, go ahead and mark this for now, just so I don't fall in it. Oops. There we go. Clean this up a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to need to figure out how tall to make this. So they need to drop 24 blocks. So if I'm at 63... 63 plus 24. Need to go up to 87. So I'll just go ahead and head up here. Start making this tower. Okay. It's either 23 or 24, I don't know. Either one's close enough. Okay, there we go. We'll go ahead and just close that off. Running out of cobblestone. I think I'll go ahead and have them fall down. Right here. There we go. Oh, dang it. Ah. Okay. shift does not fail on me because I don't really feel like falling this far. There we go. Light it up a little bit for now. Oh, dang it. Okay. Placing blocks. Oh, whoops. Got to take F3 menu down. Okay. A lot of spinning around here. Ooh. Okay, so let's see. We need to go down to level 63. So it looks like this might be a little below ground, but it's not too big of a deal. Let's see, so it's going to be right here. Out of cobblestone. No, no, never mind. Not out of cobblestone. Go ahead and light this up. Okay, so I need to figure out how to get out of here. And it is almost night time, so I'll go ahead and head back up and sleep. 